can see, so it's 4.5 in a nutshell. Let's first adjust the elephant in the room. We were dreading the arrival of triple butters eventually anyways, but Hoyo did something different and it's kind of interesting. Introducing the new Chronicle Pass gacha system. In a nutshell, you have a pool of region-based character and weapons and you spend pick balls. If you select to snipe a 5-star character, for example, you can only get 5-star characters. No weapons. Let's say you lost a 50-50 to Clay. Get out of here! You get one fate point and your next 5 stars guaranteed to be Mami Yula. The PD and everything else is the same, but tread carefully, fate points don't carry over to the next conical wish, but your wish count does. This banner will only feature characters who hasn't appeared in recent gachas, and they must have their own gachas at least thrice in the past. This basically helps the god awful slow character rotation. You don't have to wait 10 years for Yula rerun anymore. And sniping weapons here is actually significantly better than the actual weapon banner. Overall, this gacha's eye. Anyways, for the actual content, few banners. Phase 1 is Scissor Lady and Bull Chucker. Phase 2 is Mr. Water Taster and the glorious Samurai Zler. Travelers and Gentle Travelers. You've seen Electro Kaching. You've seen Dendro Kaching. Now get ready for Geo Kaching. Chiori. Chiori is Geo Kaching. Guys, at this rate, eventually we will be getting the Infinity Kaching. Still to be worse. Chiori can teleport dash. Her burst is just one big slash. She can summon a floating doll that can deal Geo damage. Another doll will be bursted uh -huh. if you have a Geo construct nearby. Like Zong's Dong. She has Geo Infusion, so she could be a sub DPS. She scales off defense and attack. Also, Chior has dual swords. God, I love dual swords. Speaking of swords, we're getting a new 5-star sword that matches Chiori's style. It gives crit damage and defense. Also, she's getting her own star quest where you guys uh design clothes for each other. I don't know. By the way, cool Derek Cat Girl is getting her own date quest. It's fucking go! I love Lynette. I love Lilith. Come and Lily. In the main event, we're back in Sweet Home on stand, and you run a potion shop business. Free force a sword that gives HP percent. That's all. There's also an event where you manage a cat cafe. Hey, look! You can put the little cats now! Oh, that's oh, that's adorable. Seriously, what is the average age of Genshi's target demographic with this one? Hey, does anyone remember the Zuma game? No? The, the, the color ball cannon game? With the, with the frog? No one? Just me? Okay, I'm old. I ended rid of that event of the time-stopping combat yes, thingy. Yes, yeah, yes, just yes. fuck shit up and get them primos. And you know what it is? Overflow! Anyways, that's the whole 4.5 update. It was kind of fast, huh? I mean, it's a filler update. It looks alright. I am pulling for Chiori because she looks super pretty and I love dual swords. I'm also looking forward to the new gacha. Might snipe for Naida's gravy boat one day. Who knows? You still here? Are you waiting for something? Maybe you're expecting a joke or a plot twist. But nope. There's none, that is literally all. Sometimes that's life. It's kind of disappointing sometimes, but you know, you have to live with it. You have to live on knowing that there was nothing in the end of the video. That's literally it. That is all. Finish. Ending. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You can go now. Alright, see you later. Sayonara. See you next video. Alright, now that they're gone, please don't tell anyone, but I love watching all that masculine men kissing. I love